today to continue with our discussion on the editor function in Moodle. Once again, the subject is called body second video on the editor. Last video we showed you how to change the font and the font size, the style and the formatting of the text. And this time we're going to look a little further into the details of what you can do. And if you could scroll your mouse over each of these icons, it'll tell you what it will do. So the cleanup messy code is if you've done some HTML editing, you might have gotten a tag or two, so if you click that button, that would clean up your code. Remove formatting would remove any formatting. Let's see how that works. Fold it. And if we remove formatting, it removes the formatting. Uh, this would be the paste button. If you've copied uh, text from another uh, software package, such as Word, it will uh, paste it as plain text. And if you're pasting from Microsoft Word, you would paste it using that button. This here, you can select the text color. So let's make it red this time. And background color is if you want to highlight it. You can highlight it uh, in a pan there. And that would change the direction of the text, text from either left to right or right to left, left, depending upon the language you're using. In English, we read it left to right, so we're going to leave it that way. Here we can make uh, an ordered list, a bulleted list or a numbered list. And here we can indent and outdent. And I think that's all we are going to cover today. Uh, in this video, well, we can cover uh, links as well. If you wanted to add a link, you can put in a link to my website. Just because we're covering that, so that would add the link at your URL. Ooh, we'll put it to the blog. There you go. So you would add the URL that you want to link to there, and we're going to change this to open in a new window. And that's all you need to do. We'll insert that. It looks like it's just comma there instead of a period. Let's just double check that that link is still correct. And it is. And that will be all in the next video we will be talking about how to uh, create tables and some of the more advanced features in Avatar. Till then, have a great day.